I'm Patrick Capiello, Wine and Spirits Sommelier of the Year, winner of Wine Spectator's Grand Award, and owner of Pearl and Ash and Rebel Restaurants. Today, I'm gonna grade box wines. The first one is Vela Vineyards, Burgundy. Louis Jadot is rolling over in his grave as we speak. There's a note from the winemaker here. He looks like a nice guy. Peter Vela, he's excited for me to try his wine. Only the best wines get a nice frothy head on them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nothing like I've ever smelled in a wine before in the worst possible way. It smells a little bit like vinegar, which is not a good thing. I definitely don't want to drink this wine. <coughs> it tastes like raisins almost. That's awful. That's an F, 100% F. Sorry, Peter. All right, Bandit Merlot. See, ever since Sideways, I wonder where all the Merlot went. Apparently, it went into boxed wines. Kind of pours like a bottle of wine. Wow, that smells like wine. I'm impressed. Bandit. Killing it. That's actually pretty good. Not too edgy. Got kind of a nice, round, supple character to it. Um, has a decent finish. Kind of plummy flavors you'd expect from Merlot. Very good table wine. I would give that a B plus, I think, actually. Oh, you <laughs> Getting a little tipsy. Okay, Franzia. This was a, a thing you could find in my house when I was in college. I think you turn it, yeah, ooh, yeah. It's got a nice flow to it. Look at that, good stream. Gotta shake up the tip. <laughs> wow, it's not quite what I remember as a kid. It smells like wine, though, that's a good thing. Um, it smells a little smoky. It has a lot of acidity, that's for sure. Kind of tapers off real quick. There's a whole story in the family back here. That's great. 1906, they've been making wines from. You think by now they would figure out how to do it a little better, but this is like a D. Maybe a D minus, but for the no drip tip, we'll give it a D. Okay, black box. The Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile. Isn't this the thing that they look for after an airplane crashes? This wine won 40 gold medals. I, I didn't realize it was 40 box wine contests. Supreme pour. Wow, they fooled 40 different groups of people into giving them a medal. It smells kind of stinky. Maybe if you just hold your nose while you drink it. I hate to say it, but I've had worse box wine today. It still has a, a decent flavor. This is like a C minus, I think, but. What do I know? It's got 40 gold medals. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon from California. Boda Box. It says here it's the perfect wine for your next little adventure. Some ideas for adventures. You can hang out in the sun. You can go on a picnic, spy on your neighbors. <laughs> it smells like Cabernet. It's actually pretty good. Smooth flavor profile. Smooth wine. Super smooth. Makes me feel pretty smooth drinking it. I bet after a couple glasses I might want to spy on my neighbors though. I'm gonna give that one a B plus. Not terrible. So I think we've seen today that there is some decent wine that's in a box. I just think you should be careful because when you invest in three to five liters of wine, you want to make sure it's something you actually want to drink. Maybe just go and buy the wine that costs a little bit more money. Might be worth it in the end. I'm Patrick Capiello from Playboy.com. It's really bad. <laughs> Get that thing away from me, please. I feel like I'm gonna catch something from it. <laughs> the classic French chef test is always the, you show up for an interview and you make an omelet. If you don't know how to cook an egg, you don't know how to cook. For me, that's a daiquiri.